ဟာလုံးမဲ့မင်္ဂလာပါဒီနေ့တော့ပေါ့နော်လဲဆိုတော့ဒီဟာနဲ့ပတ်သက်ပြီးတော့ဟုလောဆဲဒီလန်ဂ
the period should be a token as well. In this example, I'm just ignoring punctuation. So I'm just using day as uh, another token and omitting the period, but we want to treat the period or the other punctuation as an explicit token, then you can add the period to your vocabulary as well. Now, one other detail would be um, what if some of the words in your training set are not in your vocabulary? So if your vocabulary uses 10,000 words, maybe the 10,000 most common words in English, then the term Mao, as in the Egyptian Mao is a breed of cat, that might not be in one of your top 10,000 tokens. So in that case, you could take the word Mao and replace it with a unique token called UNK, which stands for unknown word, and we just model the chance of the unknown word instead of the specific word Mao. Having carried out the tokenization step, which basically means taking the input sentence and mapping it to the individual tokens or the individual words in your vocabulary, next let's build an RNN to model the chance of these different sequences. And one of the things we'll see on the next slide is that you end up setting the inputs xt to be equal to y of t minus 1. We'll just see that in a little bit. So let's go on to build the RNA model. And I'm going to continue to use this sentence as the running example. This will be the RNA architecture. At time zero, you're going to end up computing some activation A1 as a function of some input X1. And X1 will just be uh, set it to the set of all zeros, to, to, to zero vector. And, uh, the previous A0 by convention also said that to vector zeros. But what A1 does is it will make a softmax prediction to try to figure out what is the probability of the first word Y. And so that's going to be Y1. So what this step does is really, um, it has a softmax that's trying to predict what is the probability of any word in the dictionary. What's the chance that the first word is A, what's the chance that the first word is Aaron, and then what's the chance that the first word is um, cats, all the way up to what's the chance that the first word is Zulu, or what's the chance that the first word is an unknown word, or what's the first chance that you know the first word is the in the sentence that shouldn't happen. Right? But so um, y hat one is output according to a softmax that just predicts what's the chance of the first word being whatever it ends up being. And in, in our example, it wound up being the word cats. So this would be a 10,000 way softmax output if you have a 10,000 word vocab, or 10,002, I guess, if you count one more word in. And the sentence is two additional tokens. Then the RNN steps forward to the next step and has some activation A1 to the next step. And at this step, its job is to try to figure out what is the second word. But now, we will also give it the correct first word. So we'll tell it that, gee, in reality, the first word was actually cats. So that's Y1. So tell it cats. And this is why um, Y1 is equal to X2. And so at the second step, the output is again predicted by a softmax. The RNN's job is to predict what's the chance of it being Whatever word it is, is it A or Aaron or Cats or Zulu or Unknown World or EOS or whatever, um, given what had come previously. So in this case, I guess the right answer was average, since the sentence starts with Cats average. And then you go on to the next step of the RNN, where you now compute A3. But to predict what is the third word, which is 15, we can now give it the first two words. We're going to tell Cats average are the first two words. So this next input here, x3, will be equal to y2. So the word average is input. And this job is to figure out what is the next word in the sequence. So in other words, trying to figure out what is the probability of any word in the dictionary given that what just came before was cat's average. Right? And in this case, the right answer is 15, and so on. Until at the end, um, you end up at, uh, I guess, time step nine. You end up feeding it um, x9, which is equal to y8, which is the word day. And then this has a9 and a7. 
this job is output y hat 9. It just happens to be the EOS token. So what's the chance of whatever is given, you know, everything that's come before, and uh, hopefully you'll predict that there's a high chance of an EOS in the sentence token. But so each step in the RNN will look at some set of preceding words, such as given the first three words, what is the distribution over the next word? And so this RNN learns to predict one word at a time, going from left to right. Next, to train this neural network, we're going to define the cost function. So at a certain time t, if the true word was yt, and the neural network softmax predicted some y hat t, then this is the uh, softmax loss function, which you already be familiar with. And then the overall loss is just the sum over all time steps of the losses associated with the individual predictions. And if you train this RNN on a large training set, what it will be able to do is, given any initial set of words, such as cats average 15, or cats average 15 hours of, it can predict what is the chance of the next word. And given a new sentence, say y1, y2, y3, with just uh, three words for simplicity, the way you can figure out what is the chance of this entire sentence would be, well, the first softmax tells you what's the chance of y1. Uh, that would be this first output. And then the second one can tell you what's the chance of p of y2 given y1. And then the third one tells you what's the chance of y3 given y1 and y2. And so it's by multiplying out these three probabilities, and you see much more of the details of this in the growing exercise. So it's by multiplying out these three that you end up with the probability of this three sentence, of this three word sentence. So that's the basic structure of how you can train a language model using an RNN. If some of these ideas still seem a little bit abstract, don't worry about it. You get to practice all of these ideas in the programming exercise. But next, it turns out one of the most fun things you can do with a language model is to sample sequences from the model. Let's take a look at that in the next video. Language. <laughs> ก็ตะเลยอยู่เนาะกดตะเลยชิเนวีซูแล้วปอนะเสียได้ so probabilities with the only P so I my probabilities with the only to don't rise at the body for no descend and it's a 19 and descend and it's a 19 and it's a half of your chance nearly and I'm new to start to follow me let's look at your nine like it but then I go to look on our body tonight let's judge the new hala did this dislike Ali okay sorry if you have got one up hello hello Jala good day Jala ก็ตัดตามจ้าเลยนะกูจะไอ้รึเปล่าโอเคกูตัดจ้าไปละฮัลโหลฮัลโหลกูจะไอ้ชิบาดาละตะนอยชิบาดาละตะนอปะจ่
Hello, Jara ko. Tanim. Jara, Jara. Hello. Ah, dia aku nak ada seorang yang mana. Bahari mana tu nak D D D D P one P two P three dia hari itu jauh je nak dah ubah ke tengah di masa. Di sekolah tu long 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 ni dia probably dia share je tapi boleh buat apa? Hmm, ada dua tu lah. Tuna lo, apa yang sih dah lo? Dua pi nine je sih dia probably dia lo dua. Nampak je ada orang ni nampak ni ada ni. So dia nak ada dua pi yang ni tu probably dia probably dia awak jalan dia, jalan dia buat apa lagi? Okay, dah lah tuat belok tuan mana suai hatu, di belok tuan suai jangan tu jauh tuan lewo. Nanti kita tuan ni ya, kuna tu di mana dah lewo tu, tu kan mata kena tu lewo tu tu ni ada orang mana lewo, no? Di mana suai di mana di kopas lo kore tu kalau ni si dia, elah si dia kopas tu aku nak tu jauh tuan lewo. Inggris hari lembu, sana tak kuna kuda body or text bawang ni lewo, no? Sabar dia lewo di nanti lewo, sana lembu di sana tu ni ngajar lewo di nanti, sana dijauh lewo di nanti lewo, no? Dua ni mana tu suai, no? Tu sabar lewo pada dia, no dia mana tu pun ada, elah si mana suai. Nah, aku ada dua. Ada cuci cuci segala orang ni. Aku mahu dibawa ke bilari list sih baru. Aku cuma hodeh ho. Eh list mah, mah pade segala orang ni semua. Aku bahalau mulai suri segala orang ni tu cepat jauh. Aku ni mah mau suri kita ada. Jadi nanti segala orang tu tu yang kau dicium ni mah mesin tu bahalau leh. Eh, nong suri UK, eh suri eh nong ni teh suri jangan tu ni jauh. Eh, 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 eh Tiada tu mewujud pun, namanya bukan. Di kuliah saya program ini saya malah dah mahu tunggu untuk jual dua hari. Di hari tu kan nice juga kalau orang ni ada jawabu macam ni. Tu kan nice apa? Jual dua hari tu kan ada sorry di mana? Sorry di sini ada. Di import ni bukan. Di mana di sana tu khusi bawa. Di atas ni di one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ada new love juga. Sorry di kan ada berapa jam orang pun namanya bukan. Di hari kan masuk ni kan tu buka bilis mah bahasa ni. Ada new love dia proses tu. Tu kan nice love dia tu proses tu. Paul let's nari lagi dia. Jalur dia apa lor? Let's nari aman. Di sini kan di di hari pada dia lor. Tu ada tu kan nice. Sebab kalau orang itu lagi bukan. Tu kan nice. Sebab kalau orang ni tu kan nice. Sebab kalau orang ni tu kan nice. Jadi ni kopi sebab sekarang ini nak kuliah, macam hal itu. Mana banyak anak di mana tiga atau tiga lelaki aja yang di di sekarang itu itu yang memang dah mula. Okay, lepas tu siapa yang lepas tu berdiri sahaja tak? Oh, aku ni dah mula. Di bawah kami lepas tu di kan mula kita yang lain. Okay, dah lepas tu dah mula. Di mana lepas tu dah mula? Dah mula. Tuah, tu lepas tu probably probably dia jangan beli lepas tu. Lepas tu dah mula. Tu tunggu apa lepas tu? Di mana sahaja tu orang ni dah lepas tu orang ni. Kau dah sih ni probably dia lepas ni ni bukan? Di kalau di hari itu lah, di kalau di senarai itu lah, di event okal itu hari ini di hari itu nanti pelawat sih, so probably dua tiga puluh enam ribu na, pun esok ni probably di base anti ori by by dia kau ni alam alam mati ribu na, ni macam apa ni ni nasi ni lah, lalu minyak ni ribu na, di hari itu kau tak cek kau suatu cek lah, wan sih ni baru na. Hello. Okay, kau tak kena bapak jauh ni, ada jauh ni. Hello. Ada lagi kau. Eh ada, oh saya makau, mereka oh ada macam ni ada lah, so ada macam tau sih. Oh dia tu ada, oh, kalau tu macam dia tu ada sih sangat sangat orang tu ada jenis macam tu, jenis macam tu jenis macam tu, tapi kalau macam tu kan susah kan tu, susah, susah kan kerja tu, kan bukan tu yang dia tu, dia tu tu problem tu dia, niaga tu tu tinggal aja, dia tu tu problem tu niaga tu tu, tu problem tu dia niaga tu tu dia tu tu mula tak halal ni, jadi tu dia awak tu asyik alam dia tu 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 niaga tu tu dia tu awak, tapi tu dia macam tu dia tu macam tu, macam tu, macam tu, macam tu, macam tu, macam tu. Rancang cai juga, eh, aku ini zaman ni, aku bukan ini zaman tu ni, tu ni ni, eh, nampai do rancang do cai juga, eh, eh, ini kelas ke, bahu pion ni so, tu rancang ni jual jual ni, tapi tu apa ni juga, aku tak pernah pernah di distribution ni tu kuki lagi, no, tu macam tu awak, aku tu mah, oh, kos, kena kos pun, sekarang tu tak tahu sih, eh, tak tahu ni apa, 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 Oh, betul ni. Kau Google tu bawa bawa. Aku ada teh saya sama sama. So, saya kata bawa betul. Tiada teh saya sekarang macam kes. Ewe, elu sekarang tu yang bawa. Apa bawa ni? Nya tu, nya tu ni mama bawa. Di bawah di kes sama so. Ewe kita bawa bawa di pumia kau ni nya ni. Kau ada pumia kau ni nya ni. Nya ni je mama. Wah, rana tayu ni dia tu. Nya tu ni aku tu ni. Nya tu ni je mama. So, rana ini cara ni. Kau dah lama kau dah. Kau dah lama kau dah. So, kita tu pada ni. Kan nak cakap cecah musia segala macam bahasa tu ada lagi saja. Oh, dunia ni aku punya every dia orang lain dia muka. Kan ni dua view poli pol pol tu train tu ada ni muka segala macam. So, ni aku punya cecah segala macam every tu je. Kan every tu je. So, ya aku kan every tu segala macam tu ada. Kan every kan yang lain tu je. Kau tu macam tu. Kau tu bahasa tu. Kau tu macam tu. Kau ni apa ni apa ni orang lain ni. Ada ni. 
ဟာဟာအဲ့တော့အော်ဒီရုပ်ဒါဒီဒီခန့်လေအခုတော့အကြံပြုချင်တာလေစီဘီနဲ့ကိုထပ်တလဲလေအေးစီဘီတွေ့
ဝိုင်းတဲ့တကယ်အဖြစ်တစ်ခုနဲ့ရှင်ကြည့်ပြီးတော့မင်းထုတ်တဲ့စာကြောင်းရတိတော့အသင်းမပြေထားအောင်
ไอ้ที่ก็อ่ะบ่เนาะคุณน่ะกูตัดจอเรียยาส่วนดีพระมาบ่ดีพัสดัดมาแล้วตัวรันดัมนี่ลงมาสู่น่าเลยว่ะด
ยาสัตว์ตัวอะไรยาอะกูรู้ได้ไอ้ตัวมั้ยพามเพียวโอ้ใช่ไม่เลยว่ะยาเลยมั้ยว่ะไอ้กูอันนี้เนี่ยพ
uh, maybe what's the chance is a uh, uh, sentence token, and then you take this vector and use, for example, the um, NumPy command np dot random dot choice to sample according to the distribution defined by this vector probabilities, and that lets you sample the first word. Next, you then go on to the second um, time step. And now, remember that the, the second time step is expecting this y1 as input. But what you do is you then take the y1 hat that you just sampled and pass that in here as the input to the next time step. So whatever word you just chose for the first time step, pass it as input in the second position. And then this softbacks will make a prediction for what is y hat 2. So as a concrete example, let's say that uh, after you sample the first word, the first word happened to be v, which is a very common um, choice of the first word. Then you pass in v as uh, x2, which is now equal to y hat 1. And now you're trying to figure out what is the chance of whatever the second word is given that the first word is d. And this is going to be uh, y hat 2. Then you again use you know, this type of sampling function to sample y hat 2. And then at the next time step, you take whatever choice you had represented, say as a one hot encoding, and pass that to the next time step. And then you sample the third word, take that, whatever you chose, and you keep going until you get to the last time step. And so how do you know when the sequence ends? Well. One thing you could do is if the uh, end of sentence token is part of your vocabulary, you can keep sampling until you generate the EOS token. And that tells you you've hit the end of a sentence and you can stop. Or alternatively, if you did not include this in your vocabulary, then you can also just decide to sample uh, 20 words or 100 words or something and then, and then keep going until you've reached that number of time steps. And um, this particular procedure will sometimes generate a unknown word token. If you want to make sure that your algorithm never generates this token, one thing you could do is just um, reject any sample that came out as unknown word token and just keep resampling for the rest of the vocabulary until you get a word that's not an unknown word. Or you could just leave it in the output as well if you don't mind having an unknown word output. But so this is how you would generate a randomly chosen sentence from your RNN language model. Now, so far, we've been building a word level RNN, by which I mean the vocabulary are words from English. Depending on your application, one thing you could do is also build a character level RNN. So in this case, your vocabulary would be just the alphabets um, up to Z, and uh, as well as maybe space punctuation, if you wish, um, uh, the digits 0 to 9. Uh, and if you want to distinguish between uppercase and lowercase, you can include the uppercase alphabets as well. And one thing you could do is actually just look at your training set, look at your training set corpus, and look at the characters that appear there and use that to define your vocabulary. And if you build a character level language model rather than a word level language model, then your sequence y1, y2, y3 would be the individual characters in your training data rather than the individual words in your training data. So for our previous example, the sentence uh, cats average 15 hours of sleep a day. In this example, C would be Y1, A would be Y2, T would be Y3, the space would be Y4, and so on. Using a character level language model has some pros and cons. Uh, one is that you don't ever have to worry about unknown word tokens. In particular, a character level language model is able to assign a sequence like Mao a non-zero probability, whereas if Mao was not in your vocabulary for the word level language model, you just have to assign it the unknown word token. But the main disadvantage of the character level language model is that you end up with much more, much longer sequences. So many English sentences will have 10 to 20 words, but may have many, many dozens of characters. And so character language models are 
not as good as word-level language models at capturing long-range dependencies between how the early parts of the sentence also affect the later part of the sentence. And character language models are also just more computationally expensive mm. to train. So the trend I've been seeing in natural language processing is that for the most part, word level language models are still used, but as uh, computers get faster, there are more and more applications where people are, you know, at least in some special cases, starting to look at more character level models, but, but they do tend to be much harder and much more computationally expensive to train. So they're not in widespread use today, except for maybe specialized applications where uh, you might need to deal with unknown words or other vocabulary words a lot. Or they're also used in um, more specialized applications where you have a more specialized vocabulary. So armed with these methods, what you can now do is build an RNN to look at the corpus of English text, build a word level, build a character language model, or build a word level or build a character level language model, and then sample from the language model that you've trained. So here are some fun examples of text that was sampled from a language model, actually from a character level language model. You get to implement something like this yourself in the program exercise. If the model was trained on news articles, then it generates text like that shown on the left. And you know, this looks vaguely like news text, um, not quite grammatical, but maybe sounds a little bit like things that could be appearing in the news, concussion epidemic to be exact. And it was trained on Shakespearean text and it generates stuff that you know, sounds like Shakespeare could have written it. The mortal wound hath that he could in love, and subject of this thou art in other scope. When best of be my love, to me see sounds for whose are views of mine eyes peeps. So that's it for the basic RNN and how you can build a language model using it, as well as sample from the language model that you've trained. In the next few videos, I want to discuss further some of the challenges of training RNNs as well as how to address some of these challenges, specifically vanishing gradients by building even more powerful models of an RNN. So in the next video, let's talk about the problem of vanishing gradients. And we're going to talk about the GRU, gated recurrent unit, as well as the LSTM models. ก็ตัวอ่ะคุณพอได้ชิ้นเดียวเลยหาเลยเว้ยตะกงเกียวตัวอ่ะเลยเว้ยพอตัวอ่ะคุณน่ะกายดาเลเบเนี่ยวอด
ก้าวหน้าอาจารย์เราว่าอนิมาส่วนเราว่าอาจารย์มาคนอันนั้นสุดท้ายเดี๋ยวเราว่าไม่ใช่เราก็รู้สึกว่าคนอันโบยูสุ